I figured today we would go into uh, doing some of the joint movements and getting the glutes turned on again. Which is good. What's that? Maybe we'll start with the seated side bend. We can go bring the right hand outside the hip and reach. And we're going to neck release. Point the chin, reach the fingers. And then we'll go the opposite side. Neck release on this side. And then we'll come up. We'll start with the neck today. Um, we've tried to do these before. We we'll just take the ne neck circles here. We we'll go, we'll do start with, let me get a timer going. So I'll do 30 seconds in each direction. We'll go neck, uh, thoracic spine, and then uh, lumbar spine. So we'll start with here, 30 seconds. Then we'll go opposite direction. And then we'll start with the thoracic spine, uh, but we'll move here. Same direction. opposite direction. And from here we'll move into the lower part where we'll see we can't move Big circles from the hips. Big. And then we'll opposite direction. Excelente. Okay, from here, let's go ahead and go down on our side. We'll start with the glutes 
immediately uh, we'll go up and then internal rotation down up internal rotation let's we'll see if we can go for until it starts to burn maybe we'll get 20 or 30 in Maybe 10 more. We'll bring this top leg up here. The bottom leg now will reach up, up and back. Imagining a uh, if you had something like a block you can go over, that's an option for you here. Each time you go over the block, um, as high or as low as you can get it. Same thing, we're going for a burn. <laughs> Until it gets harder, we can't pick it up. Awesome. Opposite side. First up and down. The glute, and then we'll go adductor opposite side. Ten more. And so, ox adductor. Awesome. Okay, from here, let's go ahead and go up to the hands and knees. We'll start with the glutes again on this side. 
uh, doing big circles with the hips. So from extending out, rotation, bring it in and And we'll do the opposite direction. Good. And then we'll do the opposite side. Opposite direction. We go for a few, few cat cow movements here it's for the spinal action. Every time you exhale or around, belly button draws in and up. Okay, from here, we're gonna go into, uh, uh, we'll go into what's called Kabbalah Bhati. We've done this before, it's just a breathing exercise to get connected to the abs. You exhale all the breath away. Once you exhale all the breath away, we'll go from the knees actually. <laughs> you exhale all the breath away, then you pull the low belly in and up. Okay, so it looks like. <sighs> First, we'll do two rounds of just holding it, and then we'll do run round and pumping it. All right, we'll hold it for as long as possible, maybe 30 seconds or so. So uh, here we go. Exhale all the breath away. Pull little belly in and up. Let the belly go and then inhale. That's where I'm one. We'll do two more. Big inhale in. Exhale everything away. Pull belly in and up. Remember you're pulling from the genitals. Anus, everything is pulling up. Belly goes out, inhale. We do one more time. This time we'll pump the belly. So it'll look like this. See how many times you can do it? Big inhale. Faster or slow as you need to. Excellent, excellent. Okay, we'll go into our first Turning the core on, we'll go back and forth, 20 seconds, sideways, 20 seconds where we're just crawling. Here, we'll start with back and forth, 20 seconds, we'll go side to side, 20 seconds in one circle, one direction, and circle in the opposite direction. We've done this before. Here we go, in five, four, three, two, first one, back and forth, 20 seconds.
Three, two, one. Next one is side to side. In five, four, three, two, one. Three, two, one. Next one is in a circle. Go in one direction. Five, four, three, two, one. Three, two, one. Down on your knees. Ten second rest. Opposite direction. In five, four, three, two, one. Three, two, one. All right, let's come on to the back. Who we'll go to the hamstrings? So first with the hips off the ground, on your heels, you walk all the way out as far as you can, keeping the hips off the ground, and then walk back. All the way out. Three more. Nice job. Single legs uh, bridge, single leg bridge. One leg extends, hips up and down. Make sure when you, whatever leg you have up doesn't sag down. Keep it even, up and down. The alignment is this heel and sit bone are in alignment. So if you have it out a little bit, it might be harder than keeping the heel right under the sit bone. We'll do two sets of 10 on each side. One more time, opposite side, both sides. Last set. Nice job. A few articulations of the spine now. So we'll come all the way up as high as you can. And then round, round down. 
sacrum lands last. Okay, we'll move back to our adductor. So this will be our second set for the adductor. This time we'll go from a side plank. We'll use the top leg as our uh, adductor. So we'll use the inner thigh to come on up. We'll see if we can hold it for about 30 seconds. In three, two, let's do it. Yeah. Do five, four, three, two, opposite side. Here we go. Three, two, one. Fifteen seconds. Three, two, one. All right, from the knees. This is a challenging one, all right? This is our challenge of the day. One leg extended back. See if you can't. We'll go from here all the way down, right? See, we can't do 10 on each side. Opposite side. Three more, three more, three more. Huh. <laughs> it is very challenging. You use your hands with that one. And we've we've done these ones before with the, you know, from the knees here, just bringing it. This one gets so gets to be easy, so now I'm like, let's try to do it from one hand. So of course it's gonna come back to this idea of st <laughs> start. <laughs> you start with two. Two is two is e two is easier than one, and you just do it with no feet. With one with one, you can have one foot down because it creates a little bit more stability. Two, no feet, but <laughs> it is challenging. It is very challenging. 
Okay, from here, let's go ahead and go one more time, side plank. This time we'll connect uh, from, from the middle. We'll go 10 to the middle, 10 to 10 each side. Excellent. Ten ten. Good, 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 good. All right, let's stand up now. This will be our last thing for the glutes. That same idea will balance, all right? If we can't open and close the hip from a balancing perspective here. Here, we'll open and then close. So we're still working through the hip into the foot, a challenge. I mean, we must have really warmed up those hips because a lot of times I have a hard, hard time balancing. <laughs> So everything's turned on. This is a positive thing. We'll see how it works on the opposite side because my foot has a little bit of limitation. Let's go opposite side. Making it happen, baby. That's awesome. All right, let's go one more time on the back. We'll do one more set of single leg bridge. So we'll do that's our third set. We'll go opposite side and then we'll do the last hamstrings out and in. And after that, we'll go on to the heels, hamstrings all the way out. Last set of 10. There. Small steps, small steps, small steps. We got like a couple. Three, two, one. Mm. 
Excellent. All right. I'm almost there. I got a couple more minutes. I'll be there. Last one. We'll go up, up, and bridge. All right, this is your last exercise. One, two. How about one more? Nice work. All right, let's come into the straddle. And we'll do a little stretch. Nice work. I, mean, I have a nine o'clock appointment, so today's meditation is gonna be cut a little early. I, thank you so much for showing up, I appreciate you. I'll see you next time.